Hello, my name is Micah Watson. I'm a composer and music producer and I'm teaching you through the Ableton Live manual. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get your third party plugins working in Ableton Live. So if you've watched my previous two videos, you would have heard me talk about audio effects and instruments, MIDI effects. And I was talking only about your native effects that you can get with Ableton Live when you buy it or free packs that you can get online in Ableton Live. But now with these plugins that would typically be under this plugins tab on the left in your browser. These are plugins that you've either bought or acquired online for free, legally of course, from developers that have released it for free. And um, you need to now get them to work inside your DAW. So to do that, typically you're gonna have to hit command comma to open your preferences or go to live preferences. And on the left here, it says file folder, toggle to this little tab. And at the bottom, it says plugin sources. And down here, this is your hub for setting up your plugins. So first of all, your VST plugin custom folder. Let me tell you what VST is. Um, so with plugins, you get basically two different kinds your VST plugins and your AU. So that would be audio units. Your AU plugins are Mac only and your VST plugins work on both Mac and Windows. And I think it stands for Virtual Studio Technology. And a plugin is just something that plugs into your DAW and extends the capabilities of what you can do in your DAW. So in this case, our DAW is Ableton Live. Okay, so hit this browse button over here and um, make sure you're pointing Ableton Live to the right folder. So mine is pointing to the right folder. This is the default location that you would be saving plugins to typically. It's under uh, your hard drive, forward slash library, forward slash audio, forward slash plugins. If you like to keep your plugins in a different location, just hit this drop down thing over here and um, get to the right folder location. Once you find the folder, you need to hit open. I'm gonna hit cancel because this was already set. And uh, now you need to make sure this should happen automatically, but you need to make sure that this use a VST plugin custom folder is switched on. Okay, so now all my plugins have appeared here on the left. Usually you need to restart Ableton Live. So if you haven't seen it, uh, switch it off and on again. And another thing that you can do is if you've restarted live and it hasn't worked properly, you can hit this rescan or particularly if you've added a new plugin to your library, just hit rescan. And then uh, you're gonna have your plugins. Now, you may not be finding the plugin you're looking for. And um, that could be because it's not a VST. So hit command comma again, go to file folder and at the bottom under where it says use audio units, make sure this is on as well. So now you can see my plugin section over here has just changed and it's now got my VST units and my audio units. And then now you should be good to go. Okay, so this is a random plugin I got from a magazine subscription and it's a, it's a synthesizer and it works fine. Okay, so I'm gonna close this synth interface and um, you see down here, I've still got this kind of more primitive looking rendition of the plugin. It's not really a rendition of the plugin, but it's showing me that I've got the Zebra CM plugin. And um, if I want to open up that other interface, so basically maximize it, I can hit this tool over here, like a little wrench, and I can change all my parameters inside my synth and uh, create the sound I'm looking for. And another thing that you can do, so on the left here, you'll see the signal coming in and the signal coming out. So to save presets is the same as saving presets in, with native plugins. You just hit this little icon over here, which is your save icon that looks like a floppy disk. And you will get this file over here in your user library and you can save your preset and uh, you can put it under whichever folder you want, but its default location is just to kind of be in your user library. So I would make a specific folder for that if I were you. Okay, but now if I've been using an AU plugin, this is an audio unit and they're fine with storing plugins, but if you're using a VST, unfortunately in Ableton Live, it's not that simple. In fact, I don't think you can save presets at all. So let's go into VSet and pull out a, a plugin. I've got the same one here, Zebra CM VST, same synth. And uh, now if I want to save, it actually opens up a whole new dialog box where I can save the preset. Well, typically I could, but actually I can't. Uh, this is grayed out, the new folder. And if I want to save it, it says it could not be opened. And if any of you know how to save VST presets, let me know. The manual says that Ableton Live can't actually save VST presets. So if there is a way around it, that would be pretty cool to know. And with these rest of the buttons are very similar to all of the other ones. You can make it bigger and smaller and you can enable your hot swap mode over here. You can activate and deactivate your plugin. And this little load sign next to your save sign is to load your presets but since you can't save presets, you can't load presets unless this plugin actually came with presets. 
but as you can see it didn't so these two buttons are kind of fairly useless with this VST but in my audio unit one I can save my preset it doesn't have a load button but I can just pull this down here and load the preset so if you want to see how to get some free plugins online and watch me install one from scratch, I'll be doing that in my next video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and subscribe if you want to learn the rest of the manual with me. Thanks for watching and have fun learning.